Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I were instructed for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Certification Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to manage settings for Teams apps. Teams apps let you do more in Teams. Think about the tools, files, and dashboards your organization has already used. Many of them can be added right into Teams. Teams apps provide out-of-box tools that enable your organization to maximize its Teams experience in the context of channel in a team, a group chat, or an individual user alone. These apps combine the functionality of tabs, messaging extensions, connectors, and bots provided by Microsoft built-in or by a third party or by a developer in your organization. There are several ways you can interact with the app services in Teams. First one is share content on a tab. When you work with different people, you want different information and different tools on hand. You can add relevant files and apps as tabs to any Teams conversation. Tabs help you add Tabs help you share content and functionality from your favorite services in a channel. They can connect you in Microsoft services like Excel, SharePoint, Power Apps, or other services like Asana, YouTube, Zendesk, etc. Or to a website of your choice as well. Second option is to get update from a connector. Connectors keep your team current by delivering content and updates directly to a channel from services you frequently use. With connectors, team users can receive updates from popular services such as Twitter, Trello, Wonderlist, GitHub, and Azure DevOps services in their team's chats. Another option is to allow rich content. Another option is to add rich content to your messages. These apps can find content from different services and send it straight to a message. You can share things like weather reports, daily news, images, and videos with anyone you are talking to. Messages sometimes include buttons for interacting with the app. For example, a daily weather report could include an option to download the forecast for the entire week. Another option is to chat with a bot. These bots provide answers, updates, and assistance in private chats or channels. You can chat with them one-on-one -on -one or in a channel. Bots allow you to interact with cloud services such as task management, scheduling, and polling in Teams chat as well. Teams apps are a way to aggregate one or more capabilities into app packages that can be installed, upgraded, and uninstalled. In the Teams app section of the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, you can set policies to manage apps for your organization. For example, you can allow or block apps at an org level, set policies to control what apps are available to Teams users, and customize Teams by pinning the apps that are most important for your users. Use the Manage Apps page to view and manage all Teams app in your organization's app catalog. You can see the org level status and properties of the apps. Block or allow apps at an org level. Upload new custom apps to the tenant catalog and manage org wide app settings as well. With app permission policies, you can control what apps are available to specific users in your organization. You can allow or block all apps or specific apps published by Microsoft, third parties, and your organization. For example, you can use app permission policy to gradually roll out a new third party or custom build apps to specific users. Or simplify the user experience, especially when you start rolling out teams across your organization. Admins and team owners can control whether a team allows for custom apps to be added to it. This allows members to upload custom app settings together with user custom apps policy determines 
who can add custom apps to a particular team. Turn on the allow interaction with custom app settings in Microsoft Teams Admin Center for all wide settings. For the team level, turn off the allowed members to upload custom apps for every team to which you want to restrict access. Now that we have learned about Teams apps, let's go and look at the lab exercise for this module. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.